uh, Fishaholic fam, well, welcome back to another episode. Just got the kayak fully loaded and uh, the pompano bite has been pretty good on the river surprisingly. So that's kind of our goal to go out and maybe catch a limit of pompano. And uh, hopefully there'll also be some snook, jack creval, and maybe some black drum biting, sheep's head too. So let's uh, go just have a good outing. It's a beautiful morning. It's Saturday, so I'll probably only be out there for like five, six hours until the boat traffic gets crazy. So let's go make the most of it. So I got some fish here that was previously frozen and I, I planned to eat it um, last year, but I, you know, it just got buried in my freezer. And since I was gonna probably throw it out, uh, I figured I might as well take it out and throw it in my crab trap. Oh, come on. Got it. There shouldn't be anything in here because I checked the trap yesterday and it actually was out of bait. So, we'll just put some more bait in and, oh, I got a hermit crab in there. He's chilling. We'll check this later on our way in, on our way in. Maybe we'll have some crab in there. To start, I think I'm gonna try and drop down this little rubber crab along some hard structure and maybe a black drum will eat it. Let's load it up with a bunch of Dr. Juice. By the way, if you guys want to get a free bottle of this, you know the deal. Check that link in the description and all you do is have to pay for the shipping. And especially when fishing down south here, I love to put any kind of juice or flavoring on my little uh, artificial soft plastics. The goal is just to get this little crab to the bottom and I'm just gonna drift out along this structure with uh, the tide. Oh, just had a good bite. There he is. Fish on. So that could be a black drum or a sheep's head. Oh, no way. A nice sheep's head on the rubber crab. <laughs> Woo! Look at the size of that one. Check that out, guys. That is a thick one on the crab so sweet we got lucky to catch them got them right on the edge of the lips there all right just gonna bleed that sheep's head out and throw them on ice because i do have my yeti roadie here filled with ice so we're gonna try and catch some dinner for ourselves <clears throat> Load this crab up with some more Dr. Juice. And let's get back down there. Fish on. Oh no, For the first catfish of the day. Oh, perfect, quick release. I was hoping the catfish would not like this lure. All right, let's try in between uh, the pilings on this bulkhead now. There should be at least some small black drum here or uh, some more sheep's head at least. All right, nothing on the bridge. I did have one bite, but it wasn't big. So I'm gonna move a little bit further down river where there's some shallow flats and oyster bars. And I think we'll start off by throwing this little voodoo shrimp around to see if we can get some pompano. And I also wanna see if these little rubber crabs work. They're basically the same kind or style as the one that caught the sheep's head earlier, but just a little bit smaller.
Oh, fish on. Look down, fish. Barely hooked. Fish on. Oh my gosh, it's wrapped on the tip of my rod. Oh, we got one. Little pompano. They're here. I'm glad this one wasn't a big one and started, you know, ripping any drag or it would have broke us off because it was wrapped on the tip. Got him. That one looks like a keeper. All right, they gotta be 11 inches to the fork. This one is 12 inches. All right, I just took the voodoo off. Although it's working, and I was out here yesterday catching the pompano on it, and so I know it works. But again, I really just want to see if these pompano will eat a little crab imitation too. Because then we, you know, have another lure that could work for these fish. So let's experiment and try it. So if I do two drifts with this and we don't get anything, then we'll definitely switch back to the voodoo. Let's see what happens with the crab. It's either going to work really well or it's not going to catch them at all. This might also work for sheep's head here. Yesterday I got a nice sheep's head on this flat. And uh, there's a lot of oysters down there on the bottom. So there's a lot of little crabs and little shrimp that uh, hide in those oysters. And that's why the pompano are here. Because I'm assuming as the current flushes over it, it probably stirs up the bottom a little bit and maybe carries away some of those little um, baits. So the pompano eat them up. And also the sheep's head probably just forage along on the bottom and uh, devour any kind of little crustacean or shrimp. And they also probably gnaw at barnacles that are down there. All right, nothing with this little crab. Now, if I switch back to the voodoo and in two drifts, I get another pompano or something else like decent, then we know that this is the hot lure that's gonna probably get them. There's one. Ah, catfish. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, woo! Pompano! <laughs> this one is really ripping. Sweet. They love this little voodoo shrimp, you know? <sighs> this is a little bit bigger one than the first one we got.
Whoa! Feisty one. Got him. There we go. Such an awesome fish. No need to measure this one. I'm just gonna bleed them and throw them on ice. A pompano just jumped right behind me. Oh, look at that. That was so cool. That pompano literally like skipped across the water two times. We are on them. Oh, just had a bite. There was one trying to eat. We'll get the next one. It's really cool how they kind of reveal themselves a little bit. Sometimes they won't jump. Like the yesterday I was out here and I got on a, a bite of pompano. I caught a nice limit of them. And uh, they didn't jump at all really. But today, hey, they're uh, being a little more frisky. Oh, big shark. Look at that. See the swirl? Big shark just swam right below the kayak. He got spooked though. As soon as he saw the kayak, he took off. And you know what's funny is like, I, with the drone, I've um, spotted say like big schools of snook. Oh, there's another pompano. And uh, I was in like super shallow clear water and I saw a, a pretty sizable shark swim by the snook. But um, the shark actually got scared of the snook. There was like 10 snook in a school. And oh, this, this is a look, another look down fish. But uh, it was kind of crazy to see a, a you know, sizable bull shark completely spook away from a school of snook. And I guess maybe the, the snook like to stick together, you know, because then they look, it looks bigger, you know. Like me in, in this kayak, I look a lot bigger than a, uh, you know, seven foot shark. My kayak's about 13 feet, so. They just uh, look at the size and probably the shadow of me and then they phew, take off. There's another one. Oh, ho, ho. this fish is ripping. This might not be a pompano though. This might be something different. I, I think I saw it briefly right after it ate and it actually could be a sheep's head. <laughs> this fish is ripping. It's definitely a sheep's head. Look at that. <laughs> Sweet. Another sheep on the artificial. That is so cool. Nice chunky one. There's another. That's a pump. Woo! It's going crazy, this one. <clears throat> Got him. This one's really yellow. Check it out. Beautiful. I think when they're in the river for a longer period of time, then they get more yellow like this. All right, that pompano is bleeding out. So let's throw this sheep on ice. Oh, there's another one. This is either another sheep's head or pompano. Oh man, this might be a sheep. 
just how it's acting. Oh no, big look down fish. This one's pretty sizable. You know what? I'll, I'm going to throw this one in the box too. There he is. Oh, 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 there he goes. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, that's a good size pompano too. Another larger one. Got him. Sweet. Number four on the board. Come on, pump a note, pump a note, pump a note, pump a note. There's another. There he goes. If we can get this one in the net, then we just need one more. If you guys have never tried pompano fishing, you definitely have to if you're coming down here to South Florida in the wintertime. And you gotta try eating them because they are delicious. <clears throat> Whoa, he's going crazy. Got him. Must be shrimp. There he is. Fish on. This fish has some good weight. Not sure what, oh, it's another sheep's head. <laughs> Woo! I got this one in the belly. Pretty cool. I wonder how that happened though. This one's kind of on the small side, so I'll throw them back. There he is. Final one here. Oh, this one feels real nice and heavy. Could it be a permit? It could be a permit. That'd be kind of crazy to catch one a permit way up this river, but if the pompano were here. A small juvenile permit could come in with them. You never know. Got a little look at him. Oh, we saw the net. The last one in a limit always gives you the work the hardest time. Got him. Whew. That's a limit. Nice mess of fish. All right, guys. Well, since we are limited out on Pompano, we're going to start working our way back up river and I might drop down the rubber crab again on some structure. And uh, there could be some black drum or sheep's head uh, again that want to eat it. And maybe we'll hit a couple docks for some snook, and then we're going to call it a day. So stay tuned. That looks good. Lots of flavor on that crab. Let's try dropping it right in this corner here. There he is. 
something on the crab. Oh no, a little mini oyster toad. Fish on. I got something here. Oh, no way. I got a little puffer fish now on this little crab. These are the guys. This structure has so many puffers on it, it makes it really challenging to fish with live uh, shrimp or crabs. Real Another puffer fish. Crazy that they'll eat the crab. <laughs> he took off fast. All right, after that puffer fish, I made a slight move up river and we're gonna try under this boat right here. The outgoing tide's gonna end in any minute and I'm thinking possibly there could be a nice drum here and I'm really determined to get a drum just to see if they'll eat this crab and I know there's some around because a couple weeks ago I got a few but I got them on uh, live shrimp but I did get one on a swim bait, which was crazy. All right, I think we're gonna wrap things up because of the rain. All right, well, that is gonna be a wrap for this video. We're basically back at the launch, and uh, I know I said that I was gonna do some snook fishing on some docks, but being that it's uh, kind of drizzling on and off, and it's overcast and cloudy, and we caught plenty of fish today, uh, rather than going and catching uh, some snook that we're probably just going to release, uh, it sounds a lot more appealing to start cleaning up and then cooking up some of the fish and eating some of it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, I love pompano. And uh, we'll also have some sheep's head as well. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button below, and hopefully I will see you guys all in the next episode. And like always, live to fish fish to live.